friends keep telling me that I really need to start journaling just because so much happens in my life that it's like you should just journal it all but whenever I journal then I always stop mid-sentence because I get tired of writing so it's like pointless to journal because then I go back and read the journals and I'm like I don't remember what I was talking about because I stopped mid-sentence and then I never remember the days but yeah so I'm gonna just do some daily thoughts at the end of the day so that way I can remember what was going on but yeah anyway so what happened today I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus only some of y'all gonna know that one but I woke up this morning and I had all intentions of doing everything and when I say all intentions I mean, last night I had made a to-do list. I had all intentions of doing everything. And then I woke up this morning and I just didn't feel like doing a thing. So I didn't. And I was up at eight and I literally laid in bed until nine, just on my phone doing stuff. I scrolled through TikTok, met my limit there. And then I scrolled through Instagram and I met my limit there because I have screen time limits because I need to not be on my phone and on social media so much. And so then, yeah, so yeah, that happened. And I got up and was a little productive. Like, oh, man, oh, here's the pal. I got up and I, what did I do? Oh, I like, you know, took a shower, brush my teeth, hygiene stuff. I, I had some clothes, you know, and just did all of that. I was at my dad's house this morning. I'm at my mom's house now. Um, all my fellow children of divorced parents will understand that one but is that a bug in my room but anyways i um where, where was i going oh yeah i was at my dad's house and so i came back here because i'm gonna have to go back to work um i just went and visit him for a few days my father but yeah um ran a few errands for him before i left oh man i lost the nail oh here it goes i'm gonna have to vacuum in here anyway so it really doesn't matter but that's what I did. And then on the road today, there were so many state troopers. It made no earthly sense. Like there were some spots where there were like three or four of them grouped together. So it was like, oof, this leg is starting to fall asleep. There were spots where it was like three or four of them grouped together. And so it was like, whoa, like y'all are really serious about this, which I don't know. It's weird or whatever. They just raised the speed limits in Arkansas. So I'm really confused as to why there were so many troopers out there, but they were out there. Um, and yeah, but anyways, while I was on the road today, like when you're on the road, you really just get to thinking a lot. And I like to listen to podcasts while I'm on the highway. Um, just so I have something to communicate with, which is a whole thing in itself. Cause I'll be talking back to the podcast and I'll be laughing like it's pre-recorded and all of that, but it is pre I'll be laughing at them and I'll be talking back like they hear me, but they don't because it's all pre-recorded, but I'll be talking back to them and I'll be laughing like they hear me, but they don't. But anyways, I'll listen to those podcasts today. I love podcasts. So recommend some for me if you don't mind. For a kind soul like me. Anyways, while I was on the road today, I was really like thinking hard because it really occurred to me that I have to go back to school. And the thing about here's the thing. I stayed home this semester because I was unsure about how, you know, the coronavirus and stuff would be handled. I will go back to school, but it just I don't know how I'll be going back to school like. Should I go back to school and live on campus or should I live off campus? And there's pros and cons like on campus, you know, I can get that paid for with scholarships and stuff, which would be nice. And so I'll be living rent free um, and just living and stuff. But, you know, who wants to live on campus? And I'm about to turn 21 too. Ain't nobody trying to live on campus anymore. Um, and then for living off campus, that would be nice because then cool like i got my own place i can really come and go as i please like i can do what i want when i want you know there's just another level of freedom involved with that but then that also comes with bills and i'm i'm definitely adulting now but i'm not trying to have bills like no so i really just don't know what i'm gonna do there 
quiet yet. And it the thought really occurred to me just to stay at home, which I live three hours away from my college. But the thought, here's the issue with staying at home. I'm at home still. And I'm trying to get back to my friends, especially because a lot of them graduate in the spring. So it's like, this is our last real time just to kick it before they graduate. And I really want to be there to do all that. Like, I want to kick it with my friends before they all leave and they all graduate. But yeah, because then after that, it's really just going to be like homecoming whenever we all come back from home for homecoming, if we all come back for homecoming. And then if we all meet up or something somewhere, that's the only time we're going to have to kick it. But other than that, we're not going to be able to do that. So, yeah, I do want to go back to school. I just don't know how I want to go back to school quite yet. So if you have any suggestions for that, let me know or any advice, just let me know so I can make a good decision because I kind of need to make one in the next month or two. So, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then I do online classes right now. Why did I forget I had a whole class? Like I did, it was one of those things like I forgot, but I didn't forget because I took a test. I took, so they gave us all the work at once. And so we have one like big kind of final like test and then four projects. Well, I did the big test and I forgot I had the projects and I'm happy my email, pro, uh, my email, I'm happy my professor emailed me because if he didn't email me, I just wouldn't have been done. The pro wouldn't have been done. I wouldn't have done the projects. And if I didn't do the projects, I wasn't going to get a grade. And if I didn't get a grade, I was going to fail. And failing is not an option at all. Us in the Jones household, we do not fail. So, yeah, that was that whole situation. But he emailed us and reminded me. So I have a whole month to get four projects done, which is like a project a week. So I'm sure I'll get them done, no problem. Really more than a month because they're due December 4th. So almost two months. Like that's really one project for two. I can get those done. So I'll get those projects done, no problem. But yeah, and then, oh, oh my goodness, the funniest thing happened. So I was on the phone with my friend and we was talking or whatever. And I used to be really anti TikTok because I miss Vine so much. And I just, I really miss Vine. I do. Like, I wish I was a Viner, but I wasn't a Viner. Anyways, uh, I miss Vine. I still quote Vines. My real friends, they quote them with me. And then everyone else is just confused. Anyways. I was talking to my friend and we was like, man, this TikTok thing looked kind of fun. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to make me a TikTok. I tried making me a TikTok and I was just like, mm -mm. I was like, there's so much that can go into this. I'm going to just stick with doing my Snapchats and lurking on Instagram. But honestly, I okay, everybody has a role with social media, okay? There are the creators and then there are the people who like engage with creators and then there are like the stalkers who are just kind of there and watch what everybody does, but then doesn't really engage. And, you know, they just get a good laugh. I'm part of the stalker group. OK, not creative enough to be a creator. OK, let me take that back. I'm pretty creative, if I might say so myself. However, comma. There are people who are better at executing their ideas than I am. And quite frankly, when I execute an idea, sometimes what I had in my head is not what I execute. So I just choose to stay in my place in the stalkers and let people be the creators and I enjoy their content. And then they're like the engagers. Like those are the people who they do all the giveaways. Those are the people who like they make their friends through social media. Like they're commenting on stuff and they make friends with people in the comments or they're always like liking and tagging and doing all of that stuff right so it's like there are those three kind of pieces to social media which makes it all work you know because you need the content creators or else there wouldn't be any content to engage or stalk but then you need the engagement people because without them like social media companies like and like social media in general like 
they have no business if nobody is engaging with the creator. But then I feel like you just need the stalkers because those are the people, there's more users and I'm still a daily user. So like it helps out like Instagram and TikTok to have the daily users, but then it also doesn't oversaturate social media in general because when there's just too much out there, then it's like, oh, okay, like something's going to have to give. So I, I feel like everybody has their place and I'm just going to stay in my place. So, yeah, but I tried making me a TikTok. I was just like, it was fun to do. I'm not going to lie. Like last night, I also just chose to not do any work either. I don't, I'm don't. i going to for real do work tomorrow. I promise. I promise. On Thursday, I'm promising myself I'm going to do work because it needs to get done. However, comma, I also know that, dang, I really just tried to make an excuse and I can't. Anyways, Thursday, I'm going to do work. But Tuesday night, I just, I've been doing, r- ripping and running all day. And I didn't feel like ripping and running anymore that night. And I was tired. I just wanted to sit down. I literally sat on the couch for like 30 minutes and just staring at the tv screen like the tv wasn't even on i was just staring at the screen and so yeah that was a whole thing in and of itself but what was i going with that see this is why i don't like journaling because i lose my thought and then i just stop writing mid-sentence oh yeah so i was just looking at the screen tired not even turning it on and then i finally turned it on and then i was on the phone with my friend and then i was like okay i'm gonna make a tiktok it took me like an hour to make because I had to figure it all out. Like, how how do you do this? But then when I did it, it was like in this little tiny square. It wasn't even like a full vertical thing. So I don't know. If anybody knows how to fix that, let me know. Or maybe it's just me and I don't know how to work technology. But anyways, um, lessons from today. What did I learn? I can't tell you the exact situation. However, comma, what I can tell you is if you are loyal to people and if you do right by people, people will do right by you. And I learned that lesson today and it was, it worked out in my favor that I learned that lesson. So yeah, learning that lesson definitely helped me. So I'm going to pass that knowledge on to y'all. If you do right by people and if you're loyal to people, people will be loyal and do right by you. So I'm going to give, that's what I'm going to give y'all by y'all. I mean, my future kids watching this or future me watching this. So yeah, that was the, that's the lesson for today. Um, and anything else? It needs to go in my journal for today. I go back to work on Friday. I'm very excited about that. I'm a barista at Starbucks. So that will be exciting. So yeah, that's all. But anyways, if anyone knows what I should do about the school thing, or if anybody knows about the whole TikTok thing, how to make a TikTok, let me know because I just feel old. Okay. I feel old with the TikTok thing. I feel like I'm a baby boomer and I'm not. And then with the going back to school thing, let me know. If anyone else is contemplating about going back to school or not, let me know what you're going to do and maybe we can have a conversation because I need to figure out what I'm going to do really by like before Thanksgiving. Like I need to know what I'm going to do so I can make a plan um, and make that plan work. But yeah, all right. This is journal one, number one. So Trey, Leon, I'll see you tomorrow night in journal number two.